I've always been a great fan of the story of Romulus and Remus, the two that suckled at the teat of a wolf where the great Roman Empire began. And now, we stand upon the holy ground of the buff dudes to follow in their footsteps and build the greatest outdoor gym the world has ever seen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what do we need first? You know, I would love to have a place where I could do pull-ups and dips. I think that would be great. But first we need to go to the hardware store to get what we need. Oh, yeah. You always need two guys working and one supervisor. I'm feeling that role at the moment. We're back from the hardware store. What are we working with, DIY Duke? We've got two 10-foot pressure-treated 4x4s. We have three 8-foot pressure-treated 4x4s. We have three galvanized 1-inch pipes that are five feet long. We have a drill that we're gonna to use to drill the holes for the pipes, a speed bore drill that really goes through that wood like that. We have a pencil, a square. We have a post hole digger. That's gonna dig our holes. I'm not sure who's gonna be doing that, but I'm not. <laughs> we have the caps for the pipes. We have a drill. Did I say drill? He did. Yeah. Well, it's, he's getting older. It's age, you know. It's like, and we have the cord for the drill, and that's basically it. Plus, we have this bar, and this part will be used to tamp the soil down. Let's get started. Yeah. I now declare you holy buff dude's territory. I thought I was gonna get like the power of Holy Spirit or something. I got ripped off. <laughs> Started much like Rome, which wasn't built in a day. We, however, will be able to build this in a day. It's going to be that simple. This Se is Duke Caesar. <laughs> Hail Caesar! Duke Caesar! <laughs> first things first. Yeah, first thing we're going to do is get our two 10-foot 4x4 pressure-treated posts, drill the two holes we're going to be used to put the 5-foot galvanized 1-inch pipe through. That's going to establish the distance it needs to be of where we need to start digging the holes. That's our first tool. That was very well spoken. Yeah, I guess so. I am Duke Caesar! <laughs> See, these are the kind of exercises and machines you can expect to find at a Buff Dude's gym. It's unconventional, but it works. Would you say this trains? Balls. So a lot of people will wonder why you didn't use concrete. Well, in this case, it's not really necessary because of the soil composition is gonna be really packed in tight. And because in the future, if we wanna pull it out at any point, and also we're gonna tie it in with the dip station that's really gonna make it structurally sound and concrete in this case isn't really necessary. point will be the bar going that way which will establish the dip station that we're going to also put with the pull up table. Man, I'm hungry. Me too. Me three. You know what I could use right now? What's that? Some Hello Fresh. Did I hear somebody say Hello Fresh? You know what this means. Feeding time! Personally, we love cooking, and with HelloFresh's detailed instructions and perfectly portioned out ingredients, it's easy to feel like a professional chef. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping, so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. The packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. Feeding the whole family has never been easier with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. 
HelloFresh is committing to making fresh, delicious food available now more than ever and has taken extra steps to keep its employees and customers safe. So make sure to use our code BUFFDUDES80 to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping, on your first box with purchase. And if you're still unsure about all this, well, then you can go to hell, lowfresh.com for more details. Okay, let's wrap this project up. Our final addition, as I might mention, is we bought three eight-foot four-by-fours, pressure treated. We cut two feet off each one put two feet in the ground and had four feet above ground. Dropped this down two inches, drilled an inch and a half inch hole, put our bars through in the caps. Now with our leftover from cutting two feet off each of these eight footers, we're gonna put a couple cross members here and that will strengthen this all together. And bonus, if someone's too short to, uh, 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 can't get that, they can use this to help step up to grab it for the shorter people. I'm not one of those sure people. Just start calling it, and Cut it Duke Napoleon instead of Duke Caesar. <laughs> it's Duke Caesar. <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> Another one thing I want to mention is that since we cut these off to use here, this exposed the top of these pressure treated posts, so you want to paint those or else moisture will get down in that non pressure treated part. Otherwise, this is done. This outdoor pull up rack dip station is done. Hail Duke Caesar! All right, we have put the ultimate outdoor gym together. And of course, like any buff dude would, we have to break in this gym with a badass workout. Yeah. So we're gonna go through a little outdoor gym tour here. Of course, we have the half rack here. And uh, come down the line, this is what we have just built today. Pull up bar, right with the dip bar, whole station here. All body weight exercise is pretty awesome, but of course you can add weight too if you need to. Coming down the line, got the big tractor tire, you can flip it, you can hit it, pretty much do whatever you want with it. Use it for step ups or jump ups, whatever you want to do. And then we have these massive concrete farmer walk. I mean, that says buff dudes right there. Yeah, these things are not light, let's just say that. Perfect for that grip strength, those traps, legs. We'll be doing that later in this workout. Boom, look at that, not easy. This is what's nice about having this much space outdoors. They can do stuff like this, get a tan, and look damn good doing it. Oh yeah. Boom, <laughs> delivery's here. It's like a buff dude briefcase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to carry two of them though, you know, you don't want to be asymmetrical. So we have a choices of sleds. You can pull them, you can push them, you can drag them, whatever you want. Add weight to them. These are awesome. DIY Duke, of course, built these. And uh, we have this other massive concrete structure here. And we're using this as an anchor for the ropes. These ropes, we've had these for a long time. We went to the local fire station and they were giving away their old hoses for free, which is pretty awesome. We have a DIY on that. You can use them for battle ropes, which is pretty sweet. So, battle rope station, the kegs, of course. We drank it, and now we're gonna use it to lift. And then we have the donkey press machine. This is, uh, you need to have life insurance to use this, I think. I don't think I've actually ever used this. DIY Duke finished off these kegs, then he built this. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That's why we put them next to each other. He only uses that. Yeah, that's it. We got the sissy squats, which is pretty sweet. Um, if you want some good activation in your quads, this is one to go for. And we have this old half rack. If you watch any of our old uh, outdoor gym um, videos back on the, uh, the Buff Dudes Workout channel a while ago, we used this almost exclusively in the backyard. Did a lot with it, so it's still kicking. We have the parallel bars were built quite a while ago. If you want to do any kind of other body weight stuff. And of course, all the weights. Concrete, iron, steel, whatever it is. Heavy it's available. That's all that counts. It's heavy. That's all we need. 
So I missed my set because I was talking, but that is the full tour of this ultimate outdoor gym. And uh, now it's time to finish our workout. Yeah. See, as one brother works out, the other one just flexes. <laughs> Active rest. The gym is done and the first workout is done. Thank you, Duke Caesar. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome very much. It was I a appreciate success. The, uh, appreciate the adulation. Of course. Of course. Duke Caesar! Duke Caesar! So there's a lot more space as you can see. Let us know what you would like us to add to the outdoor gym. And until next time, stay, stay